What is up, everybody? It's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, and as promised, we have continued to move on up with these baby dragons. I think I lost my voice today, and uh, sitting at level seven with them. I think I've got a couple replays at level six, and then I'm gonna have a, a live attack that I did shortly after I, I was doing the replays for level six, and then I just happened to come into the, the my three attacks for the night. So we went in for that too. Had about like, I don't know, two hours of gameplay that I recorded. Got a little carried away, so I cut it down to, uh, let's see, about 20 minutes. Which is still pretty long, sorry guys. But, awesome attacks. You gotta watch these, man. These these attacks are something else. So, uh, baby dragons. I, I'm using all baby dragons, uh, eight of them. Or, I'll use three camps of babies and then one camp of archers. And so, I'm gonna kind of go through what I go what I'm what I'm looking at when I'm attacking these bases that it's not the I know it's a mass attack and so a, a lot of people think oh mass attack is just easy just put them all in uh, and you know they're gonna just go it's not really the way it works you have to try to identify where the where the Tesla is gonna pop up first of all that's always like the wild card of it all uh, also if you have level six baby dragons like I like I do in this replay and they don't have those air bombs you are at a huge advantage so, because I haven't maxed out all my defenses yet, kind of going slow on the defenses, I'm getting a lot of bases that don't have the air bombs yet. So, I'm, I'm really, you know, it's, I don't three star all of them, but almost all of them. <laughs> if I have, I don't know, if I've got 50 without balloons on them, I know I've got 48 of them. <laughs> so, as I've talked my way through this whole entire first attack, Let's just, uh, what I'm doing is, first, as mentioned, try to identify where the Tesla's going to come up. And I I'm always going to hold on to one baby dragon for the Tesla. And then I'm, I'm going to try to hold on to a second baby dragon. We're going to call him Brags, that's what we all call him. Cause I'm, I'm already, it's already the first minute of the video and I'm getting tired of saying baby dragon over and over. So, uh, try, I'm trying to hold on to one Brag for, for the Tesla and then one more for... A backup for when I, you know, they get overpowered at certain parts of the base, and uh, you're gonna have three different air defenses. You're gonna have the firecracker, which let me tell you, firecrackers are not air defenses. <laughs> they they look like them, they shoot like them, but they are not as strong as air defenses. Not down these lower levels at least. Maybe once they get up to the higher levels, they will be. But right now, they don't they don't punish these baby dragons, brags as much as uh, not nearly as much as the air bomb does. So that was my first attack. Uh, I, this attack happened yesterday. This is my first attack uh, for the money, seventy thousand at fifteen hundred trophies. Now you're gonna see a little jump in trophies too, and I, I'm gonna explain what I've been doing with the trophies too, because I think I think it's a good idea to do do what Easy's doing right now, because this is how I think they designed this to, to be played. They're not they're not giving us a lot of opportunities to to earn loot during these attacks. You only have three attacks you can use. And if you're confused about the way it works, that there's the first number, which let's say it's 70,000, and then the, the last number is for that three star bonus, and that's like 90,000 or whatever it is. You don't get 70, 70, and 90. You get seven. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't get 70, 70, 70, and 90. You don't get 90 on top of the three 70s. You're gonna get that 90 in place of the third 70. All right. So as I'm scouting the base here, trying to figure out where the Tesla could possibly be. There's a couple of different locations. I'm over here dancing around with the, with the mouse. I uh, haven't pulled it up quite yet. And and now I'm just kind of... What I'm doing is I'm I'm attacking this as if I would be attacking uh, any base with a Laloon. I'm, I'm, I'm just going around in a semi-circle or a circle. Trying to cover as much of the base as I can. Try to keep the dragons as spread out as possible to keep them all enraged. And that's actually a really big um, part of the attack. You know, when we're playing regular clash, we're trying to funnel into the troops, trying to get a big giant group of troops together. But the baby dragons are not quite like that. You know, you have to keep these guys separated because the enraged bonus. Uh, you know, these guys are. I don't know if it's times two quite yet, but I know that they're going to be times two in either this level or next level. So by the time you get them to level six, they they, they are definitely at the elite troop. They start surpassing the archers. Archers have been the number one troop up until now. Uh, most most guys that were attacking me that were able to three star were using giants and archers, 
and uh, now you, you get into the back end of Builder Builder uh, Base or Builder Hut Four, and that goes away. And now the now the Brags are the number one troop. So two attacks, two three stars, up to fifteen thirty eight on the trophies. I don't know if I get uh, I recorded the third one or not. I don't know what the hell I'm pointing at. You know, I didn't realize you could see that. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. So the win bonus is 70. And now the three win bonus is 90. So I'm going to get 90 if I win this one. And and just so you know, there's a couple of awesome attacks that I pull off. I don't know how I pulled it off. But I did, and I, and I can't wait to show you. There's one that's... I, I got the, the most impossible attack off. I don't want to ruin it for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of explain as I go with it. Now you notice that I've boosted up, I've got the watchtower going, and uh, what you should try to do is get a defense or something upgrading, and if I'm going to attack, I'm not going to upgrade a defense while I'm, while I'm attacking for the loot. So I upgraded the uh, storage right there, and now I also have a troop going in the lab, or I'm going to, right after I do this attack. <laughs> And, and then because you know it's at 10 minutes right now so that's 10 minutes times 10 and that actually takes an hour over an hour uh, you know 60 minutes in the hour so that's six almost an hour and a half off of any upgrade time once you get it to, to 10 minutes that's a big chunk taken off of your time especially if you have a one day upgrade and then you can use that uh, every eight hours so that's three times and each time you use it if it's if you have it at 10 minutes which is the third upgrade uh, you're talking about almost four hours or give or take of a few minutes But about four hours you can cut off of your upgrade time per day just by boosting that uh, the watchtower So now getting ready we, we have an open wall and we have we have uh, Archer towers on the on the edge which that is a terrible idea you gotta get these. You have to get these archer towers into the core of the base and have at least one line of defenses or, or trash buildings or something in front. You can't let the guy just put the first baby dragon or whatever troop it is on that archer tower. That's two. That's that's giving it away. And as you can see now, both the archer tower and the firecracker were both shooting at that bob, bottom dragon. It got it before it took out the archer tower. So that the firecracker does add. You know, it, it does it does damage, it does, but it's not like the, the air defense that would three or four shot a baby dragon and kill it. So now I'm trying to, st I'm starting to spread out the baby dragons around the outside of the base. We have two defenses that shoot at air in the middle, and I've got that one um, brag in, holding it in reserve. And now as soon as I have an open lane for it and there's nothing in front, I put it in. I know I, I do lose the, the enrage bonus. But now I have a fresh baby dragon there, and you know it's taking damage, but it's got so much health that it could take damage from both of them. It takes down the uh, the firecracker, then takes out the Tesla, and that's all she wrote for another base. So if you're keeping track, that's three for three. And I, these aren't the best tactics, I know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go, just like everyone else. And uh, you know, some of the things that I have learned is that you have to hold a couple troops back. And wait until you clear out some of these trash buildings and then you put the troop in directly on the target the main target which for uh, When you're using these air troops the main target has to be the archer towers or has to be the uh, Has to be the archer towers or has to be the firecracker or has to be the, the air bomb So we brought uh, six archers in this one because they brought two now this base looks a lot harder. I mean look at this. They have two air defenses. They have two firecrackers So take out the two firecrackers with the archers. This is actually the biggest base that I think I've attacked so far uh, That I've actually done anything I've attacked a couple bases with the hero and when I end up getting that that's a mismatch in my opinion And they just kick my butt anyway, so it doesn't matter Okay, so the archers are out we got that. We have uh, one more or two more up top that just get wiped out by that triple shooting cannon. And now we do have an uh, we we do have two archer towers on the edge of the walls, but they are both being protected by by trash buildings on the outside. 
So they're going to be difficult for me to get to right away. So now I'm starting to put in. Now my primary target at this point has to be the air bombs. I believe the air bombs do splash damage. So if the baby dragons get grouped up, they, they will damage several of them at once. But you still have to risk it. You still have to kind of team up on them. So took out the air bomb. Took out the other archer tower. Have not seen the Tesla yet. Uh, we're at 50%. It's just like the real base. As soon as you go over 50%, it pops up. There it is in that corner. It's being protected pretty well. But now I'm still holding on to that last baby dragon. You gotta hold on to that last one until you know where the Tesla is, because you may have to put it on that Tesla. So that's what I'm doing. It's starting to fire on the, that one baby dragon. Now it's distracted, so now I can put in the other baby dragon and clear out the trash buildings next to it without it taking direct damage from it. And now you have two two brags on the Tesla, and it goes down. So that was a pretty good attack. I was proud of that. It wasn't just surround the base and watch them fold in on it. You had to, I had to think about that for a minute. Now, I've seen a lot of people use the uh, the, the clan castle, which is the guard post, and uh, I want you go. I want everyone to remember when you put the clan castle in the core, which everyone does when you're playing the regular base. Well, what that does is sometimes that will pull the troops into the core. So you have to be mindful of what troops you put in the clan castle. The same thing goes here. Now, you you, you can't really pick and choose your troops. It's going to have an archer. It's going to have a barbarian at level 1. And it's going to go up from there. Level 2, I believe, they just go up in level. Level 3, you get an extra troop or two. So, he put... Now, I've seen this a lot. You put those clan castle troops or the, the uh, guard post right next to the air defense because it will distract the baby dragons and they will go after those uh, troops instead of the air defense but the problem is I have here is I have a camp in front then I have the guard, guard tower and then I have the then I have the firecracker and I am running out of baby dragons I have one left and now I have the firecracker shooting at that bottom baby dragon it's about to die so I put in this baby dragon and look at what it does. It chases after the troop, ch chases after the barbarian and then stops right on top of the firecracker and I end up pulling the firecracker out of the core without taking any of the buildings around it out. So that's kind of like the two-edged sword right there. Most of the time those troops will distract those baby dragons and they'll sit there and I know I've, this, I've said baby dragon so many times. I can't. I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to be able to listen to this video. I'm going to have it's going to drive me nuts. Uh, so, yeah, back. It's like a two-edged sword because it normally it would distract the air troops, but in this time it pulled them right into the air defense and it was able to take it out. So the Tesla pops up right away. Got kind of lucky and, and dropped the troops right on top of it, so I was able to take it out right away. And now on the back side of Town Hall, see now they did not. They're not watching their replays. You have to watch your replays. If they were watching the replays, they'd know that those air defenses are outside of, of the range of uh, of the builder hall. So you, you you don't want that. You have to have things shooting at the troops as they're on the builder hall. It's got a, it's a high hit point building, and you don't want them to take out stuff. You you don't want them to take out the builder hall without you know incurring some kind of damage. So. That air, that those air bombs should have been closer. An archer tower should have been closer. Something had to change with that. You have to get your air defenses on both sides of the builder hall. So no matter which side they come in on, you'll, they'll take damage from the back side. And again, this is what's been working. This one troop that I that I hold on to, and now I'm gonna wait for that archer tower to target it. As soon as it targets it, I put it on that back um, archer tower. It goes down. Not, no more air targeting defenses, and it's another one. Three star. And uh, I'm gonna fast forward up here for a minute. And now I know a lot of these attacks look the same, and I know I've recorded a lot of them, but I wanted to give give you guys tons of different looks at this attack because this is the the premium attack at Builder Hall Four. And I was shocked. Now this at this point the 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 brags are level seven. I've already upgraded them to seven now. One day later. Matter of fact, there if you can see right there, I've got 19 hours or I can't read it from here, even though it's on a big screen damn TV. 
Um, oh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> wow, that was pretty bad. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to keep the trying to keep the baby dragons in the laboratory at all times. So as a, as they're getting ready to come up, I'm trying to make sure I have enough loot or gems. I'm not not saying you should do it, but I'm gonna do it maybe. <laughs> so yeah, I'm making sure I keep the making sure I'm keeping the baby dragons in the lab, and I was surprised at how far they went. I mean, I'm I shouldn't be. I'm making the webs. I'm making the web pages for all the new defenses now and all the new troops. So I've got all these charts and stats and everything on the website, and I should remember that they can go up this high and, and build a hall four. But man, level eight baby dragons and build a hall four, and you can't get them until baby uh, until build a hall four. That means you have to do eight upgrades of the baby dragons and build a hall four. That's a lot of upgrades on one troop. So there's no telling. I guess you know the, all these troops are, now. I've taken a look at um, from on the Reddit, uh, which if anyone is, is not part of a, of a of Reddit, I strongly suggest you, you become a member at, of one of them. There's so many of them. I've been in a couple of them that I just I really like them. I have one for recruiting for for the guys, and I've got a couple guys in the clan from Reddit, which these are good players. And uh, looking at a lot of the stats. Uh, I want to find reliable stats for when I because I'm building the, our website for the clan and for you know our own guide and I want to find reliable stats and the reddit has been has had pretty reliable stats well they also show deep into the lineup all the way to level 15 on some of these troops which I know that Supercell is not you know they're not affiliated with them and at the same time they I, I don't know if they mind showing that far ahead or what but it's no guarantee they're gonna stay like that either but um all these troops are going to go up pretty high level. So, the cannon cart, for example, you don't get that till build a hall five. So, I'm imagining there's going to be ten upgrades on the on the cannon cart and build a hall five. I don't know because I haven't got there yet. And there we go. Talk through that whole attack. And that one, I don't, I, I don't remember seeing uh, an air bomb, and that's why I had five or six baby dragons left on the base at the end of that attack. So at this point now with level seven frags, if it doesn't have an air bomb, they're doomed. And that was my first attack uh, tonight. Now we're gonna skip over the second attack. <laughs> that didn't go as well. And I believe I won the attack. It was just ugly. And so we're not gonna just show every single garbage attack I do because I get some of them garbage attacks too. So this was the last attack I did. Matter of fact, this is the last attack I did before I decided to make the video. This is another compact base. Now these bases right here, these are successful bases. These things right here are hard to, they're hard to uh, attack. Now he's got that big second wall. Not a huge fan of it because I'm going to use air troops and go right over them. So you know that may force the ground troops to go around and kind of play into his hand. But, you know, if you're in Builder Hall 4, the elite troop is the, the, the Brags, the Baby Dragon. So, why, you know, why defend against the ground? But, you know, that's something that we all have to learn. It's a learning curve for all of us. So, anyway. Got three, three dragons right now. I'm holding off on them. And I'm going to jump over the walls with them as soon as I kind of cut into this base a little bit. I believe. I forget what I did. And this was like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> My memory is terrible. And it's looking pretty weak at this point, but I put the last baby dragon in it's gonna hit on the Tesla And I kind of got a stroke of good luck that that's that that baby dragon down there in the bottom left It decided to go right for the firecracker instead of getting distracted on one of the other defenses So as soon as the firecracker goes down, that's it. You know, this is the beginning stages of the of the new base mode so even I, we know, I know that they will fill this base up eventually. This is going to be just as complex as regular Clash, I'm sure. But right now, it, it's not. And we have two Archer Towers. And I guess in, in Build Hall 5, you can have two Firecrackers. So right now, it's still a little thin. So take advantage of it while it's thin. I'm, I'm pushing my way to 3,000 trophies. I think I can do it. I'm at like 2,500, 2,400 right now. Uh, th these troops are so strong. 
2100. Uh, I'm not even close. 2100. See, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah, these troops are so strong that I, I think I can get all the way to 3,000 trophies. So I'm at 22. And I have actually done a couple of raids after that. So, anyway, if you managed to last till the end of this long video, I appreciate you. Sub to the channel. We're actually going to... Uh, I can change the URL of the actual channel once we hit 10,000 views and haven't got 10,000 views on the channel yet still a young channel We're at like 6,000 so as soon as we get 10,000 we're gonna be doing a giveaway start doing our little Take over the world. He's just gonna take over the world giveaway stuff and uh, so Subscribe to the channel. We're gonna give everyone that's that's subscribed a chance to win something once we get 10,000 views So appreciate you for watching Till next time. It's been easy. Take care everybody